Hi, this is Nick Lasse. I want to explain to you in this uh, short presentation a little bit more about a new initiative we're setting up, and that is the thematic groups on research, ethics, and integrity. So um, let's get into it. I'll just tell you a little bit more about the important questions, the why, the how, the what, and the who. Why are we setting up this thematic group? It's really to help research managers and administrators um, to come together to talk about what is changing, what is happening um, in this field, and also with all those um, rules and requirements and practical implications that they're faced with to make sure that they can discuss amongst themselves, exchange best practices. But it's also the idea that it would be a stakeholder group for the European Commission. Um, I've been uh, talking to the people from the ethics sector uh, for a number of months now, and they're quite interested to engage with the RMA community. So the idea is that we would start with a launch event. Uh, based off of that launch event, we'll try to see what is the focus and what do we really want to discuss. But the idea is that it comes quite um, in a quite bottom-up way so that the participants to this event would say, okay, this is what we want to discuss. And from that, we would be building a community which would be in touch via a mailing list, via some community software or whatever uh, the community um, decides. Um, myself and Emma from the office will be supporting this and then we'll be looking how we move it forward and when will we have our um, next event and that could probably be in the autumn of 2018. It is the idea that we really create here a community, a community of practice which can help each other face the issues in this field. So what is it really um, about? I think I've said it a couple of times. It's about exchanging information. It's about discussing best practices. It's about discussing new developments um, in this field, everything uh, that's happening. Um, what we also want to do is engage um, as a stakeholder with the EC um, ethics sector. And then from the practical side, of course, we'll have our launch event on the 9th of March uh, 2018 at the uh, Covent Garden uh, premises, so in the close collaboration with the com uh, Commission. It's the idea that we really form a, a community in contact and, and stay in touch, and also that towards the future we'll have possibly uh, two live events where people can come together and get more in depth on what they are doing, what's going on, what's the new uh, information. So, so really people can network and engage around this topic. And then another important question is the who. So there's a number of committees and, 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 and um, stakeholder forums and so on. So what makes this different? Seeing as we're coming from IARMA, it is the idea that really the research manager and administrator's point of view shines through here. So we want people who are expert practitioners. So that's the people uh, from the RMA community who might be writing the rules, um, internal for internal procedures who might be um, putting on or being part of the um, ethics committees or integrity committees who might be um, enforcing compliance, looking at how we translate this into a proposal, but really not researchers in uh, this field, but people supporting uh, research, supporting the processes of the uh, organization. So what can you do from here? So the first option is Try to join the core group by applying and saying, I'm really somebody who wants to take the lead um, in this. I want to be very much involved also in setting up the content of the launch event. The second thing, if you want to participate in the event but don't want to take the lead, then you have to wait for a little bit longer and we will be launching during January um, the registration for the event. Furthermore, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me and have a very nice day.